you believe it, we're in between a couple of old hurricanes at the moment. Now, the wet and windy weather during Sunday was down to this area of low pressure. In there are the leftovers from Hurricane Irene. Out in the North Atlantic, we've got another low, and mixed in with that are the remnants of Hurricane Jose. And that low is going to throw some very wet and windy weather across northern parts of Britain through tonight and into tomorrow. In fact, by tomorrow, it could be very wet and windy indeed up the west coast of Scotland. There could be as much as 50 millimetres of rain in places, that's a couple of inches, and that could lead to some local flooding. And in the more exposed places, the winds, or at least the gusts of wind, won't be far short of 50 to 60 miles per hour. Quite a different story, though, at the moment. The low, the first of those lows moving out into the North Sea, the skies clearing. Although, as you can see, there is a lot of clouds spilling across the north of Scotland. That's bringing a few showery bursts of rain with it. One or two of those could drift down the west coast of Scotland onto the coast of Northern Ireland. Then there's the outside chance of a, a light shower around Irish sea coast a little further to the south. But most of us should have a dry afternoon and a fair amount of sunshine around as well. Top temperatures in London and Southampton, about... 16 Celsius, and that's 61 degrees Fahrenheit. Not as warm as it was yesterday. Paul recorded a temperature of 18 degrees. Now, that's about four degrees above what you'd expect at this time of year. But it's a lot warmer than that a little further south. Just take a look at this. Yesterday, Pescara in Italy, the temperature three degrees above the previous record. And there'll be a lot more of that warm and sunny weather down across southern Europe during today. As far as temperatures are concerned in the outlook, well, it's still going to be quite warm for the next few days, but you'll notice a distinct change down the eastern side of Europe, these cooler colours moving in. And the reason for that, well, as you might have guessed, we're going to find a cold front moving down that eastern side of Europe. But let's move back to the British Isles and that wet and windy weather moving into the northwest overnight. Further south, we're likely to have a little bit of that mist and fog again with lowest temperatures of 6 or 7 Celsius. So a wet and windy day for Northern Ireland and Scotland. Not too much rain on the eastern side of Scotland. And a few spots of rain every now and again getting into Cumbria in the north of England. But for the rest of us, I think it'll be dry and bright by the afternoon with top temperatures in the southeast around about 16 degrees. On Thursday and Friday, the weather system wriggles its way southwards into high pressure. So that means it's going to be a weak affair by the time it gets across southern England. Hardly any rain at all. Bye-bye.